Good afternoon to all of you. Uh, we're going to start uh, this uh, Professor Orlando de la Cruz of UP Diliman and Darwin International School. I'm an art teacher, I'm a writer, now a vlogger, <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm watching now this auction so that I can share this with my students and the public in general. So, lot one already started for uh, HR Ocampo. The starting bid is 18. That's uh, that's uh, 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 this is the estimate of the gallery. And yet, there's an initial bid of 16 on the floor. And then there's already an 18,000 on the floor, meaning this will be sold if 18,000 is the last bid that the auction house will receive. And why, why is that? It means that 18,000 is the reserve price. Oh, there's already a 20,000 bid right now. 22. Okay, the estimate of uh, Salcedo is 24. But now we already have 28,000. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 33,000. Uh-huh. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm surprised that this uh, piece already reached for 38,000 because uh, the size is actually small. It's only 8 by 12. Okay. And the bid currently is 38,000. It's small, but it's an HR Ocampo piece. Now the bid is 40,000. I'm not, by the way, I'm not, uh, I'm not an auctioneer here. Bidding is open, 43,000 already. Mm, this, is a pre this is pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Bid now is 48,000. Wow, I'm impressed. Whoever owns this particular piece is lucky that uh, his piece already reached 55,000 pesos. My goodness. You know, I haven't seen any uh, drawing like this with this figure, exactly this figure that reached uh, 65,000. If there is, or there was before, I haven't seen, but now it's 75,000. Wow, I'm really impressed. Very much impressed. 75,000, is there anyone who will go for 80,000? Take note, uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, um, uh, what, what, what was I supposed to say? <laughs> this started at 18, now 75, there's fair warning. Fair warning at 75, okay. Is there an 80,000 coming? Mm -hmm. Okay, no, 75,000. Wow. The owner of this piece is very lucky. Okay? The owner is willing to sell at 18. That's why that's the lowest uh, estimate of the gallery. That's a reserve price. But fortunately, the piece went up to 75,000. Okay, let's go to lot 15A. Ah, okay, there's an additional... Yes, there's an additional uh, piece. Hmm, I don't have the... I saw this uh, live. I, I saw this when I visited. I don't have a copy of the... of the uh, picture. I don't have a copy in my catalog of the picture of this lot. Uh, the, uh, okay, the... It's 15A, Antonio. Okay, estimate is 380 to 450. It's already 450 now, but of course, I saw this. Man, this is beautiful. Uh, I, there is no size here. I wonder what the size is. I don't have a pop here. I'm surprised. Of course, I cannot recall everything uh, when I eat that. It's 500? Yeah, 500. It's San Antonio, so 500 is okay. 500, okay, sold at 500. At 950, this is cheap. I saw this. It, the size is like that of a bond paper. Bond paper is 11 by 8 by 11. This is 9 by 11. Okay, 1 million. It's way, way above the 600,000 estimate. Uh, 600 to 750. But even at 1.1 million, this is okay because this is beautiful. Okay. I think that's the last bidder. Huh? One million. Fair warning. Fair warning. 1.1. 1. 1. Very good. 
Very good. Yeah, I like this piece. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. At 1.2, hmm, it's still okay, but it's on the high side. Okay. But 1.1 is very, very fair. 1 million earlier, it's a low, it's, it's quite low. Okay, solar 1.1 million. Okay, the next one is a beautiful, small but beautiful Olaso. The size is 11, is 12 by 16. It's one foot by one foot plus four more inches. Okay, it's a beautiful diaphanous, okay, and very Olaso. This is classic Olaso. Usually, the Olasos are really very, very, very high. Uh, 1.1 million. 1.1 million is the magic number. You can take home because if you want an oil for an Olazo, there's no, you cannot find a 1.1 million or anything lower than 1.1 million for an Olazo. Uh, the usual, you know, it's bigger than this. This is a small Olazo. So if one gets it at 1.1, at least that person has an Olazo that is oil. Okay, now it's 1.2. Okay, 1.1 is fair value 1.2 is fair value 1.3 is a bit high <laughs> but you know if, even if it's high if the person is said buy now and buy six months later it will be higher than 1.3 okay so 1.3 is quite expensive for this size but this person better get this piece now because you know if he waits for five six months for another piece this size to come by Probably it will be higher than 1.3. Okay? So it's the right decision to get it now. 1.3 million. Because it's an oil painting, it's a classic Olazo Diaphanous. And you cook, okay? Sabo or Cup 5, okay? Uh, ink on rice paper, 1.8 to 2 million is the price. It's huge. I saw this live. I saw this in person when I went to the Salcedo. Okay? No bidder yet, okay? Uh, in reality, I have a feeling that, uh, I have a feeling that, you know, I was thinking about it. Uh, it's a bit uh, high at 1.8 to 2, but who knows, okay? But it's big, it's big. 1.7, 1.8 now, 1.8. To be all, oh, it's already sold at 1.8. Now we're waiting if the other bidders will compete for this, okay? I, I said in my blog that the first time I looked at it, I even thought it's um it's a it's a, an alquas piece that is uh, what do you call this uh, abstract. But when I look closely at it, wait a minute, there are marks here of an antiuco because you can see the details of the the beak, the beaks of the cock. It's a cock fight, huh? and. Uh, if one is looking only at the picture, one won't be able to appreciate. But when you look at it closely, you can see the the cocks, the roosters were fighting. So 2.4. Yes, 2.4. 2.4. It's higher than the 2 million estimate. Fair warning, 2.4. Yes, I think it's 2.4. It's a huge piece on paper. 2.4 is the magic number. This is a beautiful Echaro Campo. 3.3 is the bid, my goodness. Even one gets, if one will get it at 4 million to 4.5, it's still okay. I saw this, it's beautiful. A 3.5 bid now, it can be solved because that's the lower estimate, which is the um, reserved price. My goodness, the buyer of this, if he gets it at 3.5, is lucky. Lucky indeed. 3.5 for a big HR Campo, 29 by 22. Oh my goodness. 25, so. Whoever got this piece at 3.5, you're very lucky, man or ma'am, <laughs> whoever you are. Okay, the next piece is um, uh, 
and our two rules. By the way, by the way, when I did my blog, I said that it could go higher. The, the HR Campa could go four million to four point two million. It did not. So, you know, I was wrong in my own estimate. But it got sold at three point five. But that's very very cheap indeed. Now, uh, our two rules is four point three to four point five. That's the estimate. And now, uh, four point three will be sold. It's very cheap at four point three. Okay. My my guess is it should be higher than for four point five. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I can sense that. Oh, it's four point five now. It's four point five now. It's still cheap at four point five. This is a huge piece. Sixty six. It's uh, five and a half feet by four feet. My goodness, that's that's tall. <laughs> Let's stall. Okay. 4.5, 4.5. 4.5. Okay. It will be sold because the, est the estimate only is 4.3. And that's the lower estimate. It will be sold at 4.5. 4.5. No more bid. Okay. Closed. Sold. At 4.5 million. So, okay, that's a beautiful uh, loser. This one is beautiful. Wow, really beautiful. Mm hmm. 750, 750 at 1 million for a beautiful piece like this and big it's Manuel Garibay a social realist painter Ooh, 800 we're looking for 1 million 850 come on 900 at 1 million it's very cheap at 1.2 it's still very cheap 1.3 is reasonable okay, 1 million it will be solved because that's the lower estimate. 1.3 is still reasonable. 1.3 is still reasonable. Okay. 1.1 is cheap. Who is the lucky person winning this for 1 million? Hmm? Lucky, lucky you <laughs> winning it at 1 million. 1 million. Uh, 1.1 million. The lower estimate is 1 million. Fair warning for 1.1. Didn't you see? The estimate is 1 to 1.2. So even at 1 point, it's cheap. 1.1. 1 .1. Lucky you, whoever you are. The next one is Summer Solstice by J. Elizalde Navarro. Okay. The, the magic number is 715. It's beautiful, it's abstract. He has made paintings like this featuring uh, uh, Indonesian uh, elements. So it's very colorful. Uh, it's 800 now, it's beyond the 750 uh, estimate. In a little while I'll even eat <laughs> because I'm getting hungry now. Uh, watching the Watching the auction. One million. Hmm, yeah, why not? It's 24 by 25.5. 24 by 25.5 inches. 1.3. Hmm. Hmm, nice, nice. Hmm, good amount. 1.4. It's almost double already. 1.5. It's double the estimated amount. Uh, if you notice, there are some. Uh, some pieces that uh, uh, was uh, much much higher than the estimated amount 750 now uh, times is only 1.5 but yet it's only 1.6 now okay so 1.7 the next time it's offered again although there's 1.7 the next time it's offered at auction it's definitely not 1.7 anymore yeah, you know there are some people who don't like the idea. Of, you know, like some artists who frown at some people buying art as uh, 
art as uh, investment, but why not? I mean, there are people who buy. Uh, in the first place, even the galleries do sell art. Of course, they need to earn. And of course, if those people who earn want to sell it in the future, why not? Okay. I mean, this is a free world for as long as you're not doing anything wrong against your fellow human beings. Wow, this triple the estimated amount. Why not? This is so beautiful. It's stunning when I saw it. Stunning, stunning. Oh, what was, it? What, what, what was that? Two million? You know, I was getting my sandwich. I think it was sold for two million. I did not see the. Later, I will review the. I will review the video to get the accurate account. Of course, I knew. I think it was two or two point two million. I was looking at my sandwich when it suddenly disappeared. You know, either two to two point two million. I will make a question mark. Later, on, I will review the recording. Okay, now it's Ali Aguinaldo. No, oh, there are people who really love Aguinaldo. No? I'm not a collector of Aguinaldo, but I do respect people who love uh, his pieces. No? They're so they're so uh, minimalist. People, there are some people who really love minimalism. In my case, you know, uh, I love also abstract painter like Lazo, no? but uh, I think Aguinaldo is even more minimalistic compared to Olazo. Uh, of course, oops, fair warning, 4 million. Okay, sold at 4 million. Wow, there's a buyer at 4 million. This one is a great piece. And I saw it. I love this piece. Okay, starting as 5.5, but the minimum bid to get, to bring it home is 7 million. 7 million. 6.5, Surely there's a 7 million. Okay? Even if it reaches 10 million to 12 million, it's okay. I mean, it's a big amount, of course, it's expensive. But in the art market, if it's sold at 7 million now, it's unbelievably low given the size of this uh, piece. In the art market, it should be at least 10 million, at least 10 million. 12 million. Okay. Okay. You want to eat with me? <laughs> well, we are both watching the online auctions of Salcedo. Mm, 8 million. The estimate. That's a uh, 7 million is the lower estimate of Salcedo by Salcedo. 8 million is the higher estimate. So it's still part of the estimate. So floor bid, floor bid. So it means that there are people on the floor bidding. There are people online bidding. Okay, 8.5, mm, still low, still low. Whoever will get it at 8.5, if it stops there, is getting a bargain. Okay, please pardon me if I eat. I'm hungry. Hmm, 8.5? My students who are watching this, kindly try to observe the some trends. <clears throat> Why is it that there are some pieces that are estimated low, sold three times more than the estimate, two times, three times more than the estimate? Yet there are some pieces uh, that are estimated low, but they were not even sold. Why? What are the possible factors for that? Okay, this was sold at 8.5 million for this piece, this beautiful, this uh, big 8.5 is cheap. I have a feeling the prices of the pieces getting sold today are cheap, meaning it's a bit, it's a low, it's a, I would say it's a low market today. <laughs> there are bidders, but they are, uh, you know, the, the, the winning bids are on the low side. Uh, meaning, um, it's a buyer's market this day. The one who wants to buy are getting the pieces at low prices. 
So it's a buyer's day today. This one is estimated at 15 to 18 million. It should go way beyond 18 million. Okay. Start of the, the auctioneer started at 12 M, 13 M. Take note, beyond 10 million, the increase is 1 million already. 17, it should go 25. <laughs> At 22, at 22, it's cheap. It's cheap. But to reach 25, I will not be surprised. 21 is still cheap. 22. Yeah. It's, it can go higher. 23, 24, 25. For a, for a stunning big band cab. Oh my. You can even hang this in a museum. It's a museum piece. The combination of colors. Oh my, if I were the auctioneer, I won't declare right away a winner because there could be some other people bidding and thinking, should I bid for 23? Whoever's staying at 23, come on, bid now because 23 is still reasonable. For a band cap, I mean, it's uh, worth a fortune, but for some collectors, huh, close at 22. Okay, wow. Congratulations, 22. Yes, it's higher than the estimate and it got sold. And it's very reasonable at 22. Wow, Olazo at 5.5. Hmm, this should go higher. This is a beautiful, a huge, huge. Sorry if I always use beautiful, but how, what else will I use? Of course, I can use other adjectives. That are synonyms to beautiful. Okay, I'll do that next time. But you know, uh, beautiful really is the word. <laughs> uh, I will try to. Uh, I will try to make my descriptions more colorful later. The the auctioneer started at four point five. That's not that five point five is the selling price. That's a minimum bid. Okay, no buyer yet for the real price. But this should reach, I mean, at 8 million to 9 million, this is cheap. I mean, for that size, it's a Nolazo. Hmm. Builders, where are you? There, it will be sold. The minimum bid has been met. Sorry, I'm talking and I'm eating. Forgive me, <laughs> forgive me, because I needed to say things, even though they're still food. Normally, I don't talk while eating, but this time I can't, I can't help but, <laughs> but to talk. <laughs> Six million for a lazo? Are you kidding? Lucky you, whoever is bidding six million. It's it's very low for an Olazo this big. The size is 4x4. Four four. Previously, there had been Olazo sold at higher prices for a 4x4. Four four. No more builder? Hmm. Lucky you, lucky you. Uh, the option is waiting for another bidder. Probably there's a phone bidder. You no know, thinking once, twice before bidding again. 6.6 .6 million for an Olazo this big. Cheap. I mean, from the point of view of the collectors, uh, uh, based on the previous prices of uh, Olazos. I hope my students are watching. Right? And uh, looking at the trends, there's a reason why an Alazo will be cheap at six million. There's a reason. Huh? What could that be? We can talk about that in class. There's so much to talk about the art market. There's one texting me asking me if I'm. Uh, watching online. Yes, I'm watching online. Hmm?
<laughs> Did you notice? Did you notice? The bidder, the auctioneer is not um, um, buying the gavel right away. Probably even the auctioneer. Probably even Mr. Lerma cannot believe that it's only it will only be sold at six million because it should be uh, it uh, it should be higher than six million because a similar size was sold before higher higher than six billion. There's a floor bid. Oh, come on. There's a floor bidder. Look at this time. The the increment should be 6 million, then 6.5. But, but there's a bidder who thought that probably I can outwit the last bidder by bidding extra. So because he's on the floor, he requested the auctioneer, can, can I bid at 6.250 instead of 6.5? And then the auctioneer agreed. Uh, because it's 250,000 more anyway. I mean, it's big, it's a huge amount. Now, probably the one who already thought that he's winning at 6 million is few being mad because the auctioneer allowed the floor bidder to bid at, uh, at uh, 6.2. Uh huh. The floor bidder. Ah, this is a different floor bidder. See? The floor bidder of six million is different from the six two point uh, six point two fifty, and then the probably the one who bid who made the bid at six point five is the same person who made the bid at six million. Come on, <laughs> both of you are getting it too cheaply if it's uh, six to six point five million. Of course, it's already beyond. Uh, Beyond the oh, sold at 6.5. Okay, congratulations to the one who got it at 6.5. Congratulations. The price of that should at least be 9 million. Uh, when you go to the gallery, but all you'll be fortunate to ask and they have, mm, it should be at least 9 million. Okay, there's no amount here. If you if we can see this, there's no amount. Okay. Uh, it's zero zero, meaning you need to ask them directly for if you want to know. Uh, if you need to, you need to request for the price. They don't announce it uh, uh, publicly. But at eight point five, ah, this will be sold. Okay, this will be sold. Okay, it should be at least nine million size. Uh, the the a piece. Of this size should at least be nine million. Of course, this will be sold at eight point. Now it's eight point five million, but at nine million, it's still cheap. It's still cheap, nine million. Because if you'll inquire outside, oh, the dealers could price this much much higher, where some galleries could price it much higher than eight point five, nine million. Yeah. Now we're talking. It's good. It's a good price for the bidder. Okay, if there's a grim and determined person who wants to get it at you know, higher than nine million, hmm, it's a little on the high side, but it's still okay. Uh, nine to ten is uh, up to ten. Nine nine m is still cheap. Uh, nine point five to ten is okay, reasonable, but on the high side. Okay, for your warning, 9 million. Mm. My guess when I visited, you will see my blog, 7 million to 9 million. That's my guess. It's 9 million. But if someone bids at 9.5, it's still okay. It's a. It's a. It's a masterpiece. Uh, you can only see the glass here, but there's actually a base. 9.2. My goodness. I cannot believe this. There's a floor bidder. <laughs> Whoever you are. 
<laughs> the person is a bit uh, wise and some will call the person stingy because 9.2 usually will not be entertained. Uh, it should be 9.5. But, uh, you know, the auction is very, very uh, accommodating. But, If one really uh, follows the rule, you know, the nine, the person on oh, the nine million bids now, the nine, the person who bid, who bid it earlier at nine million went back with a bang. I think it's the same person at 9.5. Because if you were that person who, who made a 9M bid, but the auctioneer allowed 9.2, you're fuming mad. Because the next bid should be 9.5. So now, That person who made a 9 million bid had to come back with a 9.5 bid. So anyway, probably that person is rich and won't mind paying extra 500,000 for this uh, uh, excellent piece of work by Mr. Ordina. Mr. Ordina is really the top 9.5. Mr. Ordina is really the top caliber glass counter in the country. Okay, now 1.5 to 1.8 is the next bid uh, for a, this tapestry by Ben Cab. Okay, uh, for me, for me, my est- estimate, my personal estimate for this was it is two million to point two million. Okay, it's now one seven million. So if it will be sold at one seven, it's it's cheap, very very reasonable. But even at 2 million, it's okay. Now 1.8. Hmm, 1.8. Hmm, I'm looking at the people who attended. Hmm, it's quite. It, it's well attended. Oh, 2 million. Come on. I said 2 million to 2.2 million. It has reached the lower, lower, um, est- uh, lower part of my personal estimate. Come on, it's 2.2 million. 2.2 is okay. 2 million is still okay. 2 to 2 mi- 2.2 million. This is stunning. When one sees it, wow. The next time it comes back to the market, you know, a similar tapestry like this one, it will not be 2 million anymore. Because it's a Ben Cab, plus it has reached 2 million now, probably it will be 2.3 to 2.5 next time. In fact, even if it reaches 2.5 now, I won't be surprised. The piece is stunning when I saw it. Another Betsy Western door. Mm. The first one is really abstract than this one compared to this one. This one is huge. Actually, I heard when I when I was there at the at the Salcedo uh, uh, exhibit, I heard that this actually came from the family, but I'm not sure. I don't have any basis for that except the one who told me. 9.5 is the competing bid. We need a 10 million. One more bid and it will be sold. We are now on lot 48. Imagine we started one uh, two o'clock, one and a half hours later. We are in lot 48. That's one and a half hours. Okay, 10 million, it will be sold. Okay. From here on, the increment will be 1 million, 1 million. But sometimes there are stingy bidders who will request the auctioneer to allow them to bid uh, by not following the actual increment based on the rule. Meaning they'll bid uh, using an increment of an increment. <laughs> the increment should be 1 million, but sometimes one will convince uh, the Auctioneer, can you accept my bid for 1.250? Oh, 11 million to 50. Sometimes the auctioneer would accommodate. Okay, sold. So, 10 million. It's really a low market today. And if you're 
in the auction house and you happen to have you know pieces that you love it's a low market today then you could be a lucky bidder because not too many people are bidding today so uh, you are targeting something previously that are so expensive like an olazo or lina probably could get it at a lower price today because it's a it's a low market today because there are sometimes there are times when it's very high and that's a high market really but uh, okay wait a minute it's already 400 500 mm. yes it's a Federico Alquas piece 650 this piece caught my attention yeah the, the combination of color uh, it's more beautiful when you see it in person than seeing it here uh, 950 1 million I have a friend who's a big big fan of Alquas I like Alquas but I'm not a big big fan of Alquas Whoa, look at that 400 to 1.3 million what's happening here aha uh -huh. it's from 1954 no wonder imagine this 1954 so that was 40 six years plus 23 years that's 69 years old this piece is 69 years old imagine that 1.4 million mm -hmm. wow 1.6 million uh alquas made this in 1954 and he was born in 1932 1.6 million 1932 so eight years plus 14 years he made this when he was only 22 years old so this is an early work no wonder why people are scrambling for this i did not notice that i i liked it when i saw it but i forgot the, uh, the date 1.6 million from 400 times four Wow, this is one of the biggest jumps today, times four, 1.6 million. And the reason for that, I realize now, is it's an early work. So if you're an Alquas fan and you saw an early work, well, what did you do but to bid for, for an early work of your, of your uh, favorite artist? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, vlog on uh, Salsed Auction Pieces for the Visual Arts. Um, I'm enjoying doing this uh, uh, with you and also for you. I hope you will enjoy also uh, watching the vlogs that I will make for this channel uh, titled The Art Chronicler. And that will be it for now. I'll say goodbye just for now. But I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye and Thank you so much to all of you.